uh, he came down Main Street, made this little short turn, then turned into the Dealey Plaza Road that went down and under the uh, it went under the railroad track. But Oswald was in the sixth floor right there. One, two, three, four, five, six. He was on the sixth floor. And these other three guys that were looking out these windows were the ones that heard the shots. This happened at, on the morning of Friday. That night, uh, Cunningham, Killian, and myself went over to the Secret Service garage and there was the limousine that did use. They'd flown it back and put it in the in the garage. And of course we had a photographer from the field office there. They had their photographer there and we examined that car very thoroughly that same night. And I hate to think about it, but Jackie Kennedy had a yellow rose bouquet. Mrs. Connolly, who was sitting on a jump seat in front of her, had a red rose bouquet, and those red rose petals were all over the car blood everywhere. Excuse me. But, uh, we examined it. We found some lead particles and the scraping the lead from the inside the windshield. That took Saturday and Saturday night. And, and we got home sometime on Sunday. I don't know. I don't remember who, when it was. We never got home Friday night or Saturday, but we got home sometime Sunday for about five hours sleep. And then we had to, then uh, my wife wanted to see the parade, the, uh, the, this funeral procession, Monday. That was on Monday already. All, all the autopsy had been finished. But she wanted to see that, so we went down there Monday and saw the parade. And I went to work, and I didn't get home till Wednesday. We reenacted the entire thing very, very carefully, scrupulously. We took uh, Zapruder's camera, because he was photographing the car. And, and for certain distances, we knew we wanted to know how fast the car was going. Well, we had nobody to ask. You had to figure it out. So Shaneyfelt, Lindell Shaneyfelt went, took a clock that had a second hand in and photographed it with Zapruder's camera. And just like that, he knew exactly how many frames were exposed during a 10 second interval. We put that car, according to three people who were running movie cameras at the time, from Zapruder, from head on, a lady from the left side, and so forth. You could triangulate and put the car in the middle of the street or a little bit to one side, you could put the front end of that car exactly where it was at any time. And uh, with reference to when the shots were fired. And so uh, that's what we did. I stood up there, I, we took Osmond's rifle with the scope on it to Texas and set it up. And there has been a, conspiracy theories and people shooting from here and from there and from everywhere else. There has never been anything to indicate positively that anybody else 
was involved. Yeah, it was a, it was the biggest thing that ever happened at any time in in my career.